Well, hey guys, Captain Dave. It's the guide's life. How's everybody doing? I'm in Cabela's today, down in the uh, southern part of Michigan, and uh, just I just had a, a, a little bit of time. I actually came down and picked up Joanna. She was staying with my daughter Katie. And anyway, just stumbling around in the store, I, I love to just come and, and walk through. And a lot of times, I'm kind of looking for new gadgets, new things that are out. Maybe I haven't seen, or I, maybe I've heard about and haven't had my hands on them yet. Um, but and one of the things that I'm interested in right now, and I, I'm going to show you what I'm, the direction I'm headed is. Uh, I, I've actually gotten to where my net, my dip net, that I use a, a lot, uh, has finally kind of worn out. I, I dipped a fish here the other day. Actually, it was Major Beeman's um, six pounder, that 515 and change that he had caught. And you know, I, I, I bent the net. I had to literally, I had to bend it back. And I, you know, I just, it's just pretty worn out. Um, I, there's, so I'm in the market for a new net, but there's some things, there's one that has really caught my attention here recently. Uh, and it's because of the handle style. Um, I'm really, I've become a big fan of this handle style here. And the reason why is because of the way it, it telescopes. And it's, it's really, um, it's, it's really kind of a nifty deal. This is the same handle that I actually have on, um, on that, that, that cleaning device that I got from, uh, uh, from, from Captain, uh, Oh, good Lord, from Secure Fishing, Captain Clyde. Sorry about that, Cap. And, uh, but it has this, the same style handle, and I'm really a big fan of it. it, it you know, it, it's just so much quicker and easier to use. This particular model net is the one that I'm interested in. This one's got a kind of a small basket on it, and for most fishing applications, I'm sure this one's just fine. I'm actually, I'm actually more interested in getting, I need one that's got a little deeper um, a little deeper reservoir for the fish actually i'm not doing a very good job of filming and doing this here i'm just kind of doing a little impromptu thing sorry about the video there um actually the one here's the, actually i've actually here's the one that i actually would would want to get um it's got a uh yeah, right here it's got the much the model um that, that i'm interested in and the reason why is it's just so much deeper you can see that it, it'll it's got a much deeper reservoir on it now this is also and I, I've had this style of net over the years before, but this is also that the rubber netting. And the idea is here that the hooks don't really catch in this. My biggest concern about this style is will a hook, if it does catch, you know, which things happen, will it just tear the net? And then what kind of a, um, you know, what kind of a warranty is it? Is it, is it a replaceable thing? You know, cause it, cause the, the frame is actually really nice. The net is $110. Um, I want to say that the, uh, the net that I have now was probably it was right in that same range it was it was a collapsible it fits in one of my compartments this will likewise collapse and fit into one of my compartments so um i'm gonna do a little more investigation before i buy it uh, i i really to be honest with you i'd feel better if it had the more uh kind of coated nylon uh the the, the current net that i have uh, the frabel net that i have now uh, but anyway that's so that's the million dollar question just as is um, you know how well this stuff holds up i did have a dip net uh, like this like i said before the biggest problem i had with it and, and this is a concern now too is it's actually that that rubber when you when you scoop through the water column that rubber has a lot of resistance to it it's a lot harder to net things than is a, a regular netted net style as opposed to the rubber so it's it's actually it's absolutely a consideration that you want to take into account um, when you're buying these things. Handles are everything. If, you, if the handle doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel like it's gonna hold up, man, don't buy it. I mean, just, just don't buy it, um, plain and simple. Uh, they do have some other nets here that are, that are a little bit more of the, uh, of the thin netting that I'm talking about, like this one here on this other side. This has got the, the coated um, handle style. Let me get it up here real quick. This is not really a, oops, sorry guys, about the video again. This is not really a, bass boat style net but this is that coated nylon that i'm talking about it's it's uh i know this holds up i've been using one of these for many 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 years uh, and i know it holds up uh, this is this is a bigger model uh, this one is not going to fit into a compartment um, so that makes this one that makes this one a little problematic boy she extends my god almighty this is this is a really really long net it looks like it's probably gosh I don't know, maybe 12 feet. I'm just guessing here, but you see it's $130. But this is more the, 
this is more the style of netting. I, I, I really like if I could get that net, you know, the, the, the other one that's a little smaller to fit my locker in this material. You know, maybe what I'll do too is I'll, 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 I'll check into uh, uh, the website and see if maybe they do offer that because this is all made by S2 e, uh, Ego, EGO uh, sliders. So I'll probably go online and check their thing out. Anyway, a little bit of a look at the nets that I'm looking at. I've got a few other gadgets uh, I, I want to show you too. So let's continue this little foray into Cabela's. <laughs> look at the size of this whopper plopper. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I may have to get one of these just to see if I can catch a big old Okeechobee bass on this baby chain. This is a 190. I have never seen one that big before. Um, uh, they've got a picture of a big old bass on the on the cover here, but oh, there you go. You got a big. There's a big musky on the back. This looks more like a musky bait, quite frankly. Look at the hook on that thing. I don't know, guys. Twenty one bucks. I, I'm. I may have to get one of these gaudy things just to uh, just to see if if I can roll a big one. <laughs> you know, you catch you catch a little twelve inch Okeechobee bass on a whopper plopper that's nine inches long. <laughs> we'll see. Look for this one later. <laughs> Just walking through the crankbait section here. <clears throat> this is a this is a really strong northern uh, smallmouth bait. Uh, what I like about it is two things. First of all, the chartreuse they really respond to. That's a kind of a well-known thing. It's got a vertical line on it. In this case, it's a red vertical line. I like vertical lines on my baits because of the perch factor. Uh, <clears throat> but what I like about this one too is this is a good search bait. You get on a lot of big rocky flats. Uh, this is a 1.5. It dives, you know, it dives about three to five feet. I'll, uh, I'll purposely put this on like 10 pound fluorocarbon uh, just to get a little extra depth on my, on my bait cast rigs. Uh, and, and you know, you just want to get this thing. It doesn't, for the smallies, you don't have to hit bottom as much. Um, but but it, if you get close to the bottom, that's, a, that's really kind of what you, what you want to do. But this one doesn't have a rattle in it. <clears throat> if you're in real clean fishery, uh, where you can see a long ways, it's, it's perfectly okay to go without a rattle in it. Um, but, but I'm going to tell you something. I do prefer the rattles uh, in the, it's an, even the even the hook will rattle a little bit. But I do prefer the rattles if, if, if the visibility is less than six or eight feet because it, it certainly improves your uh, improves your strike zone. But let me, I'm going to tell you something else. And this is this is serious business. When I when I go underwater and I dive and I'm filming, especially for smallmouth and whatnot this time of year. I always take a little rattle, um, and I do that because it's how you communicate with the other people underwater. What I found out was when you rattle that thing, you get on a grass line or something, and you start you start rattling that thing, just not real crazy, but just click, 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 clunk, 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 like that. I've had so many smallmouth come to me and investigate that sound, which really has gotten to me where I, I put rattles on everything. I buy tube jigs uh, that have rattles in them. I, I buy the buck bucktail uh, rattles that you can put on. It's got two rattles sticking out and the rattles are I put those on my jigs as well. And uh, so rattles are a big deal up north and the smallmouth, it, it matters with smallmouth bass. But anyway, chartreuse square bill, great search bait on those three to five foot rocky flats that are everywhere up here in these lakes. This is, this, you know, I, I'm a gadget guy and, and uh, this is a little gadget that I found that right away when I saw it, I went, this might be something that I can use. You know, big problem dealing with mudfish, dealing with northern pike, and all of those things is, you know, sometimes you have to be able to get their, their mouth open to get down inside their jaws and get your bait out. Um, there's some, been, I've seen some, the old steel the spring deal, you stick it in there, it goes doing, and it just forces their mouth open. Well, this is a little bit more technically advanced version of that. What this does is this gives you the ability here, it's, and it's based on a little clicker here, but you go like this, it's going to ratchet as big as you need to, and then it'll hold. What's nice is it'll hold in the fish's mouth like that. And of course, you just release it when, when you're done here. Um, this is a this is going to be a must-have in my boat. I'm I'm going to pick one of these up. Uh, they're about uh, they're they're 13 bucks, but it, it's made by Q Arrow. I'm not sure I'm even saying it right, but jaw spreaders. Now, I, I might even pop around and see if I, if I see the older style that I have. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll B-roll a quick shot of that one too. But this is a handy tool. Uh, what's nice about it is because it ratchets and it'll hold itself in the fish's jaw, you can actually let go 
Um, I don't believe that it's meant to kind of suspend the fish, but you can let go of it while you're digging around, once you get that fish. And this is particularly important for mudfish, uh, runnel, um, but also up, up in North Country, this is Northern Pike all day long. Um, if, if you're fortunate enough to get it to the boat and, get you, and have a chance to get your lure back, this is going to be how you're going to spread the jaws open so that you can, uh, so that you can safely reach in there and get your business back. All right, another little fancy gadget.